What's going on, guys? Your boy HBK Just, and obviously I'm back. <laughs> this is the, about the third goddamn time I'm recording this commentary. I guess uh, it's been a while since I've done this, but um, hey, I'm doing it right now. I'm talking to you guys. Um, one of the reasons why I'm showing you guys some Black Ops One gameplay is because um, it's for two reasons, and which is gonna segue. It's gonna be a nice segue into what I'm talking to you about. Um, one of the reasons why I'm showing you guys Black Ops One gameplay is well uh, that's the reason I don't have my uh, excuse me I don't have my um, my regular Xbox video cables and the reason why I don't have my regular Xbox video cables is because um, it's because uh, I don't know I <laughs> they was here at my house and I was playing with them before I switched to HDMI but I have absolutely no freaking clue where they are but more importantly is that one of the reasons why I'm giving you guys this is because I didn't have my HD PBR and I have none of my recording equipment my computer uh, my blue snowball and I have none of my software nothing I don't have anything and the reasons why I didn't have that stuff is because it was at my grandmother's house uh, which is gonna lead me into what I'm talking about which is um, changes in life. Um, one of the things that changed for me since for the last year and a half to two years is the different things that I've been experiencing and different things that I've been through. And some of the things that I've been through and experienced has been life changing. Uh, some of you guys may know, some of you guys that's been a while for now, for a while, may know that I've, you know, not too long ago, I've lost my, my mother. And um, for anybody that's probably lost a loved one or anything like that, they will understand what it's been through. But did, every experience is different. Um, for me, it's been <sighs> it's been very difficult because I've been going through. I have been, you know, since then been through a lot of ups and a lot of downs. And uh, some of the ups and some of the downs that I've been through has been just freaking ridiculous and freaking crazy. Um, some of the things that I have right now is that, you know, I have a fiance. I have somebody that I'm with right now and somebody that I love. And thank goodness, because if I didn't have her, I don't know where I would be. I'd be freaking snapping my wrist. Like that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be. But um, I, don't, I don't know. I'd be in a bad place. And she's been around for a lot of my good times and a hell of a lot of my bad times. And um, just recently on April 3rd, actually, I lost my grandmother. And for anybody that knows me, I this basically how my my family dynamic is is that i was basically raised by my grandmother i wasn't really raised by my moms and um i mean my mother was always around but she you know she had moved down south when i was younger around 14 and for most of the time when she was in new york i was really with my grandmother um and that's basically how it went uh the difficulty with that is that i don't know when it comes to me and my family dynamic is it's just kind of weird to say the least because um you grew up knowing certain people that's always around in your immediate family that's when it comes to holidays when it comes to different family occasions or anything like that you get used to having certain people around you get used to uh i don't know you just get used to having people that always that's always around always going to be there for you always going to you know, cheer for you or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a woman in my life that I'm going to be marrying. And that says a lot because yeah, I'm fucking lucky. Where I come from, guys, which is New York City, you know, in the hood or whatever, or however you want to categorize it, you know, you just don't see things like that. You don't see people my age engaged. You don't see you know, happy marriages, you don't see anything like that, you just see death, you see people in corners selling drugs, you see this, the craziest, stupidest shit you could even fucking imagine, and I'm painting a really bleak picture, and I don't want to do that, because it's not all like that, it's really positive too, but the reason why I'm doing that is because it's just, I don't know, it's just crazy, because you, uh, as you go through life, I, when you're young, you have different times where you, you know, you have graduation or birthdays and things like that. As you get older, you have what I have, which is engagement parties, weddings, uh, you know, birthdays as well. But you have different things that you just look forward to. And I've always been the type of person I've never, ever thought I was going to get married. But it's coming and it's coming very soon. And 
unfortunately, when it comes to that time when it's walking down the aisle, I'm not going to have my mother. I'm not going to have my grandmother. You know, I'm not going to have a lot of people that was in my immediate circle there by my side. She'll be, you know, they'll be there in spirit. But it's kind of humbling and it's kind of sad at the same time. And I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me. This is not, this is, you know, not about that. But what it is, what I'm trying to do is, um, I'm sorry, my phone is fucking on. But what I'm trying to do is just let you guys understand that if you are with a family member, it's easy for people to take family for granted. And I was one of those type of people. I just, you know, I took my family for fucking granted. And I should have never did that. And I, I don't I, I don't have regrets because as I got older, I got closer with my family, close with my mother, close with my grandmother. Um, I ended up taking care of my grandmother, actually. Um, and, you know, it's just... What you want to do is just... I don't know. I, what I'm asking you guys to do, if, if if anything, is if you're around your mother right now, your father, or how, however your family dynamic is, just give them a hug. You know, give them a hug and let them know, listen, I love you. Or you, even if that's not your style, because if you know, guys don't do that shit. It's just not. It's just not becoming on us. Um. You know, we could just 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 listen. You don't have to do anything, but just. Just understand if you're gonna take anything from this fucking YouTube commentary shit or for anything that some random guy is telling you over the internet, just know that listen, life is short. And um life is very short and anything can happen in a blink of an eye and your whole life will change forever. And it's it sounds so freaking cliche and it sounds so easy and it sounds it sounds like, you know, I don't know. It sounds crazy because this is something that, you know, you hear all the time and something I've fucking heard all the time. But when you're in a, when you're in that situation, it's easy to look back and say, damn, I could have changed this or damn, I could have changed that. And you don't want to be that type of person or you don't want to be that person that that has to do that. You want to be that person that that, you know, when something, dra dr you know, dramatic happens. You say to yourself, mm, you know what? Yeah, this happened. This person left or this person did, you know, went through this. But at the same time, it was that it was his or her time. And I enjoy my time with his or her. It would make the transition so much easier for you. And for my mother, it was so hard because it was, you know, very, it was very uh, sudden. But for my grandmother, she was a lot older and, uh, you know, I, I was taking care of her for a while. So it was kind of ex expected. At the same time, it was still hurt because it's your family and it's somebody who you love. But it is what it is. When it comes to the future of this channel, uh, I think I'm going to try my best to record. But I need to find those video cables. If I can't find those video cables, I'm just not recording. Because I can't see myself popping $180 for El Galdo. This channel is not partnered. It's, I'm not making money off this damn thing. Um, but it was never about the money for me. But I just like talking to you guys. I like entertaining you guys. I like confiding in you guys you guys help me more than i help you guys sometimes and this video is just this video is about me it's about me just you know wanting to talk to you guys um so i hope you guys understand that i hope you guys appreciate it but the the future of this channel is, is uh i don't know if i can find those video cables or if i just decide to buy new ones because it might be just cheaper obviously it'll be cheaper for me to do that then i'll i'll i'll, I'll probably record um, I hate playing on standard definition. I'm so used to playing on HDMI, but you know, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, if I could just, if some people, some may say, hey, HBK, fuck it, just get El Gato. But for goodness sake, who the hell wants to pay that much money? I'm not fucking on only use me blade. I'm not Thunder Toro, Optic Knee Shot. They're not gonna just throw a fucking El Gato at me and say, here, your sponsor. It doesn't work like that, guys. I'm one of the lower guys. I'm one of the guys. I'm just like one of you guys, you know. You gotta, if you want it, you gotta just say fuck it. You're doing it just for the entertainment. You're doing it for the fun of it. You're not doing it for the 8 million sponsors and this and that and that and this and all this other bullshit. And, you know, who cares about all of that right now? But, um, we're, we're approaching towards the end of the video. I hope you guys took something from this, a, the, a message. I know you guys are so used to, you know, those funny stories and, you know, how, how I got caught fucking my girlfriend and this and that and that and this and i hope to bring you guys some more of that but i just wanted to give you guys something that's a little bit more personal a little bit more important and um i hope you guys can take something from that 
I have absolutely no fucking clue what the final score is, and I'm not gonna pause the video or look and squint my eyes and all of that to try to figure it out. This is not about the gameplay. This is about just me talking to you guys one on one. Um, I am on Twitter. Um, you can reach me at the, the everything will be in the description. If you like the video, if you like me being talking heart to heart with you guys, give the video a like. Um, you know, hit me up in the comment section. I'll definitely reply, and I'll talk to you guys later. Later.